So we're in here hanging out with Big Mac a little bit, and uh, he can totally see. Or at least that side he could. Maybe he can't on this side. See, look at that. Yeah. I, maybe he can't over here yet. So this pupil is more dilated. So actually maybe he can't see on this side yet, but he can see on this side. You see, I went up for that too. So the other day when I did that, the water was dripping and he reacted to the water and he kind of did this, but that he definitely went up. So now he can totally see, at least on that side. <laughs> That's not reacting to my hand though. Yeah, so on his on his left side, he can now see at least my hand moving. It's, it's progressed beyond shadows. On his right side though, it doesn't seem like he's got anything yet you know but that's just a cool update about his vision uh you know alligators i've talked about this a million times they have amazing healing power and i think over time uh just based on what's gone on so far i think he'll be able to see totally fine out of his left eye give it some time um you know speculating of course i don't really know but i would assume how this is going it looks like it's going that direction as far as this side don't know yet but maybe he'll be able to see off both sides you know um, but he's doing really good and just the fact that his vision is coming back like that. It's really really cool really impressive You know for an animal like this. It's just amazing. Oh Look at this jelly bean Let me pet him I'm here to collect his empty food bowl in the morning and he's being so sweet and wants me to pet him Oh look at him Look at his ear. That's his ear Look at you, huh? Those happy purrs. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hello. You're not on your favorite perch. What are you doing over here? Hmm? Yeah, you're never over here. What are you doing? Oh, Jet, you excited to see Clover? Clover doesn't care. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> he thinks he's going to take down an emu. All right, see some smart piggies. Daisy, good girl, Daisy. And Petunia, you sitting? Yeah. And look at Julie sitting. Oh, this good girl, Julie. And Daisy sitting. Good girl, Daisy. Oh, sorry, Daisy. That was my bad. And Petunia, you sit? Good Petunia. You sit, Julie? Good girl. Yeah. Every time with her. Look at Daisy. Oh. Petunia, you sit. You sit. Good Petunia. Sit, Julie. Or Daisy. Sorry. Julie. Nope, not paying attention. Sit, Petunia. Go, Petunia. Oh, there's go, Petunia. Can you sit, Julie? Oh, there's go, Julie. <laughs> Just everywhere. Can you sit, Daisy? Good, Daisy. Oh, the little sweetest piggy ever. The sweetest little piggy ever. Can you sit, Petunia? There you go. There you go. Daisy's sitting so good. Sit, Julie. Good. Uh, again. 
Oh, look at Kit Kat. What are you doing, Kit Kat? Can you sit, Daisy? Here you go. All right, Dooney. Sit. There you go. Here's your big boy pebbles. Hi. Look at this big boy. I started patting him and just laid like right down, like in the water. Hi. Oh, you love pets. They're more cuddly than the girls are, which is supposedly a thing. Male emus are supposed to be nicer than females usually. Or so I've been told that he loves being pet. Oh yeah. We got the girls on the outside right now. Well, they can get in here, but. Hi. Hi, big guy. Hi, big fella. Look at him. Oh, you got a bug on your nose. Look at him, he's so cute. He's in the water. So he's actually accidentally in there. He's not trying to take a bath. I started petting him as I was refilling the water and then he just like laid down in it. You can't eat the bug, it's on your nose. Got pretty eyes. Okay, so we're continuing with the hand feeding fox training. There's first a few for Hazel on the log, and then Shippo can get his over here. We have to be bridging, so just make sure you say good. Ow. <laughs> I tell you who's not a fan of this is you, eh? Good. Good girl. Good girl. Got those crazy eyes. Good. Oh, girl. Okay. You can have that. Perfect. Yes. Yep. Is that what you're making me do? Uh, yep. <laughs> you also have more patience. Like, if I. I'm getting attacked by flies. I'm gonna like try to swat them. You'll just kind of like leave them <laughs> and let them bite you. Thank you. 
Oh, she's licking it off without biting me. That's awesome. Good girl. Look how trusting she's being. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then Yue is able to eat in peace too. So again, we are respecting the um, social status. Is that the right way to explain it? The, the hierarchy? Social hierarchy. Yep. So um, yeah, she's dominant. So she gets her little snacks first. Then we give her the bowl. And then we do the training with her, which builds trust with Kira. And then allows Yue to start to understand that we are in control and we are going to keep her safe from her so she can eat in peace. So it's building confidence with both of them. And then after a few weeks of doing this, we're gonna switch and we're gonna start hand feeding her. Like good first? Luck, good luck hand feeding Shippo. Um, no, I think you just give her her bowl and then you start hand feeding mm. that one. Right. Good job. All right, so now we're cleaning up the Pilates. They're in their lockouts eating. So scoop and poop first and then spray it all down. And we're also working on our new enclosure today. Yeah, the new um, enclosure for, I almost said it. <laughs> Can't see it yet. Although, by the time I end up posting it, nah, it won't be done. But, um, well, on that note, though, uh, yeah, we are getting a cool new animal that uh, we're not saying yet, just in case. Because um, sometimes things don't fall through, or they do fall through the cracks or whatever. Um, so, that'll be exciting. Um... But also about what I was going to say, too, is that um, there's a significant lag time between when I film the vlogs and when they actually get posted. And uh, people will get mad because they'll see us post something on Instagram. The Instagram video is, you know, 30 seconds. The vlogs are sometimes an hour long. So obviously there's a lot more uh, time that goes into having to edit and all that stuff. Um, and I only upload the vlogs at at night and then try to post them the next day since they're so long and our internet's so bad i will literally just start the upload when i go to bed and just leave my phone on and plugged in and six hours later it's uploaded um so that, that's another one that i don't think people understand is we are in the middle of nowhere so when i upload these vlogs like it takes sometimes six hours to upload them um and but anyway so just because uh, a lot of people see stuff that we post on instagram first and then they ask like over and over, where's the vlog? Where's the vlog? Where, where's the, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> don't have it yet. You know? We're like three days behind. Uh, usually, yeah. I'm like, so like three days behind. But I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I just had a lot of people asking about it. So I just wanted to kind of clarify that so people understand because everybody kept on asking about Pebbles because they saw Pebbles on, you know, Instagram. And then they're like, where's the whole vlog for it? You know, and I'm like, yeah, it's going to take a few days. So, just kind of, man, why do they dig so much? It's crazy. I don't know what they're, what they get out of it. Bugs. I guess. They really like digging. So I've been doing a bad job of remembering to do this, but um, I'm trying to remember to put our uh, website in the description of all the videos. I just kind of forget to do it. Um, but that's something I've been trying to remember to do and that in that uh, on the website we have uh, How you can donate directly to the nonprofit. We have all the merch on there uh, What else we got? Uh, Amazon wishlist is on there. I will be updating it um, Within the next couple of days. We now have a way like a mainstream way to send bird uh, toys directly to our resident parrots so we're gonna try to make everything as easy as possible um, the website doesn't allow reoccurring donations, but you can do the monthly reoccurring donations through PayPal. There are ways to uh, donate specifically to an animal now on the website. So like we have like a little sponsor section where you can read about the animals and send a donation to the animal of your choice. So it's, it's really cool. Speaking of Amazon wishlist, I will be updating it today because we need more guinea pig food for the Maras. We need prairie dog food. I wanna order some new baby toys for the Kawadis. So I'm gonna be adding a bunch more freeze dried raw food for the Kawadis and the Foxes. So I will be updating it. Um, if you go on our Amazon wish list and it's empty, that means that everything is purchased. A lot of people message me and email me and they're like, 
the link doesn't work. It's saying it's empty. That's because um, that week everything was purchased, so it's not a bad thing. But I will be updating it because there are quite a few things that we need. So here is Topanga, Patagonian Mara. There's Timothy coming over. He's going to steal the bull. Yep. That's what he likes to do. Look at how cute Echo looks. You look so cute. Yeah. You look very fancy. You want to get your hair ties. I just want to see. I'm not going to leave it on because it could get caught and not to be too dramatic, but literally choke him if it got caught on something. But looks really cute right now. You just don't want to leave him unsupervised with something like that. Hey, tree. Hey, here's quick. Zazu. Petri. Hi, Jelly Bean. Hi, buddy. Got some blueberries. Got blueberries and pomegranate and apple and cantaloupe. Any good stuff? Isn't that good? You like that? You thinking about stabbing me? There you go. Be nice, huh? And with the prairie dogs now, here's Poppy, paralyzed with affection. Who are you, Coco, trying to climb me? No, oh, did I cave in your hole? Yep, look at this, right to work. Get to work. <laughs> Poppy is dead. The other ones are eating the hay. So I just put new hay in for them. They're more excited about that. What are you doing? Oh, Poppy. Oh my God, Poppy. Why? You don't need to do that. Look at you. Look at you, Poppy. You do not need to climb me. Only pets for Poppy. Look at this. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. No chew my boot. No climbing. Nope, don't climb me. I gotta go. More animals to take care of. Poppy says, you ain't leaving. All the small parrots. They're very excited. Hi. Hi, Candy. Hi, Candy. Oh, oh camera will focus. What's going on? There we go. So we are now on the way to the vet with Olaf. Do a little checkup for him. Hi, baby. Hello. 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 Whoop, he's leaving. Hello. 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 I love you. Hello. Nope, I gotta hold you. He wants to be with mommy. Hello. Because he loves her way more than me. But she's driving, so I have to try to hold him. Cracker? I don't think you actually want crackers. You want a cracker? Cracker? Yeah. Cracker? A cracker. Oh. Yeah. 
Olaf got some routine checkups on his heart condition and he seems to be doing okay now, but we did not finish filming for the rest of the day because a friend of ours had a uh, really bad emergency situation and we were trying to help out with that the best that we could. I'm not giving any details on it to respect his privacy, uh, but it was a pretty traumatic day for everybody, unfortunately.